that will help us. Right? So the story alone makes food for everyone. So all the food that we eat, can anyone tell me five fruits and vegetables? I'll put your hands up. Apples. I hear tomatoes. Cucumbers, strawberries, yeah, what do you think? Sorry? And carrots. and carrots, yeah. All those lovely things, they all grow from plants, which need the soil to grow from. And so it doesn't only feed us, it also feeds the birds and the bees. So you can see up here, the bees get some nectar from the flower, which is growing in the soil. So who thinks soil is really important? Put your hand up. Yeah, we need to survive. So unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. Soil isn't really so well. As, our, as the humans, as, as we grow and become more and more, we've not been looking after the soil. We've been putting chemicals in the soil to... Um, so sometimes in our big farms, we have to kill some of the plants because we only grow one type of plant. And the other plants are growing, we need these chemicals to get rid of them. And those chemicals go into the soil and they make it ill and they make them feel well. Um, also, we see lots of litter in the soil. Who sees litter in their park or on the, on the street? Do people see plastic bottles? Do people see crisp bags? Yeah, so all this stuff is not good for the soil because if it doesn't get picked up, it can break down and go into the soil. And once it's in the soil, it's very hard to get it out. So, in our, when we go home, and we, see lots of, if we went home and uh, we saw lots of rubbish in our house, we wouldn't be very happy, would we? So, we shouldn't be pushing out the soil. Soil doesn't like to be exposed, it doesn't like to have anything not on top of it. So, when the soil is exposed, uh, if it rains heavily or there's lots of wind, it can blow the soil away. And once the soil is blown away, it's very hard to get it back. So the soil likes to be covered. And we also we dig into the soil and we disturb it. So every time we're disturbing soil, all that life in the soil, just in a spoon of healthy soil, there's more people, there's more organisms or living creatures than there are on the planet. So who knows how many people there are on the planet? Eight billion. You can't even imagine that amount. It's huge. And just in one spoon of healthy soil, there's more living creatures. So when we disturb the soil, we're disturbing all those creatures. And we're also breaking that network, which plants used to talk to each other. So disturbing the soil is really harmful. So how can we help our soil? Does anyone have any suggestions? How do you help the soil? What do you think? Plant more flowers, that's a good one. Compost is a really good one. Cut the grass that's up in the air. Yeah, all these good We shouldn't throw it, that's a really good one. Very important. Yeah, no, literally, definitely. So yeah, there's ways we can help our soil. Soil is very strong, and it just needs a bit of help to recover. So the first thing is, we shouldn't disturb the soil. We, when, we, when we walk on the soil, we're damaging those living creatures. And also, if you walk on soil, it's like a sponge. So you make it, when you walk on it, you compact it, and you make it very hard. And when the plants are trying to put their roots into it, it makes it more difficult for them to like, grow into the soil, when it's hard. And of course, sometimes we have to walk on soil. It's not avoidable. But when we do, we can be very careful, we can look where we're walking, and at the end of the day, we can say enough our mantra to ask for forgiveness if we've injured any animal. We should grow organic food. So organic food doesn't have the chemicals that the normal food has. So either we can buy organic food from the supermarket, or better, we can grow our own food. Has anyone grown any food before in their gardens? You have what would you grow? Sorry? You're going to grow something. That's good. You grew some potatoes. Very good. Potatoes? Yeah, and things taste so much better when you grow it yourself. What do you guys 
potatoes and tomatoes, mint, mint's really nice with cheese. What are you going to say? Yeah, you're going to say. <laughs> Sorry? Mint, yeah, I love mint. Any, any of the adults want to do drum? So when, when the leaves of the trees fall on our soil, we should leave the leaves there because they're protecting the soil. And also, as some, some people have said, we can use compost for our soil. Has anyone made compost before? Who's got compost been at home? Very good. Quite a few. Good. So yeah, make your own compost. Compost is really easy to make. It's made from all the waste we make in our houses. So if we have banana peels or vegetable peels, if we have paper, spare paper, or if you see some uh, leaves on the floor, we can put that all together, put it in a bin, and leave it for a bit, and it makes a really good compost, which we can feed our soil with. And we can pick up litter. So when we see litter on the floor, we shouldn't leave it. We should try and pick it up and put it in a bin, or put it in a recycling bin. More plants makes the soil stronger. The more and the more, the more diverse range of plants, the different types of plants we put in the soil, the better it is for soil. Because all those roots can go into the soil and work together, and they can help the soil, they can hold it all together. So if you imagine a room with just one person, that's not very fun. But if you have a room with lots of different people, you have more fun. So that's why like plants, plants like to be with lots of different people. So if we help the soil, we can help the planet. So who wants to help the soil? Good, what are we going to do? Can you give some suggestions on what we're going to do to help the soil? Uh, what can you do to help the soil? Yeah, pick up the rubbish. And grow something at home. Yeah, so today, maybe when you go home, talk to your parents and try and do one thing, whether it's grow your own food, pick up some litter, make a compost bin, and together we can help the planet and we can help save soil. Thank you very much.